Hello friends, this video on Equilibrium Part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more PA from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. As I have told, the whole point of understanding the equilibrium was to tame the equilibrium, right? We want to tame the equilibrium so that we can use the concepts to get the maximum result. So if you see, the main goal for all the chemical synthesis that happens in most of the factory is to maximize the conversion of reactant to product. You must have used the term, heard of term efficiency, which is always never hardly 100%, right? So when you uh, do some chemical reaction, you, you find that uh, the reactants reach equilibrium and uh, you don't get much product. One of the good examples is the Hamer process. We'll discuss about this process where you'll see that all the principles of equilibrium is used here. So we'll first try to understand all the factors that impact equilibrium and then we'll take one or two examples where we'll see that in industry how this knowledge of equilibrium all the factors of uh, that affect the equilibrium is used to produce maximum result to produce maximum products you'll see that also note that if my system is in equilibrium and if I change something example if I change the concentration of reactant in the product then the system will no longer be in and again the reaction will take place in some direction we don't know so we don't know which direction we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the principles or the laws which talk about the direction it will flow it, the reaction will happen in some direction we can find with the QC and the KC we can find direction at least it will happen in some direction let's assume we don't know that also it will happen in some direction until the equilibrium is reached right that's how the process is so the system is in equilibrium you disturb it and after some time again the system will go to equilibrium so in order to decide what course of reaction is taken or if the system is in equilibrium, you disturb it, what will happen to the system, which direction it will flow, how it will flow, those kind of stuffs. There is a principle given by Lee Chatelier. Lee Chatelier gave a principle called Lee Chatelier principle and this principle is helpful in understanding how a system will behave if one of the parameters is changed between pressure, volume, temperature, concentration. So we'll discuss about Lee Chatelier principle. So what is Lee Chatelier principle? It's a very small, very simple principle actually, and but it has a lot of impact. It says that if a system is in equilibrium, for example, I have a system and it's an equilibrium where A plus B is my reactant, C and D is a product. If I change any of the factors that determine equilibrium. I'll, I'll talk about the factors which determine equilibrium. For example, pressure, temperature, volume. They are the factors which determine the equilibrium. But something like catalyst, it doesn't determine the equilibrium. It doesn't matter which catalyst you're adding. The equilibrium won't be impacted. So there are some factors which determine the equilibrium. If you change any of those factors, the system will react in such a way so that it will counter act the effect of the change. It will minimize the effect of the change. It will revert back the change. For example, there's a guy and you took some 10 rupees from him, the guy will do something to get the 10 rupees back. So, so everything is in an equilibrium, right? So, for example, uh, someone gets more stressed for the exam, the guy will do something, maybe some yoga or some dance to de-stress himself because the student always wants to be stress-free. Similarly, the system wants to be in equilibrium and if there are some factors which determine the equilibrium actually of the system, if that is changed, uh, the system will behave in such a way that it will counteract the change. And this is applicable only in the case of equilibrium. It is applicable to physical and chemical equilibrium both, but only in the case of equilibrium. For example, you can uh, uh, see this weight balance, right? If you, it says like this. So if, for example, in this case, if you add more products, what will happen is the product concentration is more. So what it will do is the reaction will happen now and more of C and D will be formed and this A will be reduced. So in that case, if you see, the system will somehow be balanced again. So, or if you, let's suppose, pump in more and more and more Ds, what will happen is the system will uh, move in this direction and the reaction will happen in this direction and more and more A and B will come up to counter and back the chain because it says that there has to be a balanced number of moles of A, B and C and D. So if, if somebody is disturbing that, 
the Lee Chardel principle talks about how this uh, system behaves as that it will uh, counteract the effect of the change. Right? For example, if you add more uh, reactant here, more reactant, so what will happen is according to Lee Chardel principle, this reactant will react, some of this reactant will react and form product. Some, not all. So now if you see, if you added, let's suppose, five reactant or six reactant, out of that, three reactant will go and form product. And three will remain like that. So if you see, there are three more reactant, three more product. So kind of system is balanced, right? Now if you add more, uh, let's suppose, uh, products, so what will happen is, let's suppose I have added some eight products. Eight products, eight moles. So now this product will react in this direction and create some reactants. Not all, but some of them. So, with this. So with that, what will happen is, these products which got reacted will be exhausted from here, and we'll have four products. Here also which got ex reacted, exhausted. So somehow it will try to maintain the equilibrium. Right? So you got the logic. So you add something more here, it will react so that things are balanced. You get more product here. If you add something here, it will react, and it will form something here. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.